So Simon, um, what attracted you to the story of the Getty family and made you want to uh, lend your talents as a writer and producer and creator? I think it's about the two most important things ever to write about, which is love and money, really. They're the two things that made the world go round and make it turn off its axis. And it's got, this story's got both of those in abundance. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of research did you do in order to immerse yourself into the world of the Getty family so that you could write about it accurately? Uh, there's a lot of material published about it, many books about it, and obviously delved into all of those. And I did my own research, I went to Rome and walked the route which he took, uh, little Paul took before he was kidnapped, and tried to figure out the complex jigsaw puzzle of how this person came to be seen after he was kidnapped. And we all sort of pieced things together and worked out that he had, to begin with at least, staged his own kidnapping. Um, so the research was really fascinating because we picked up little bits of clues that this might be the case and then it all slotted together. This uh, reunited you with the great Danny Boyle. Uh, sure, yeah. As well as your uh, Slumdog Millionaire producer, Christian Colson. Yeah. So you guys have a winning combination there. I hope you keep it up. Um, talk a bit about working with Danny Boyle. I mean, what is that collaboration like between the two of you? <laughs> well, as you say, we've done a lot together. and. Um, it's, he's incredibly uh, respectful of the written word, but he brings his own kind of kinetic energy to the project. Uh, you, you instantly recognise something that's been directed by Danny. He sort of inhales the script and it comes out different. Or you all be it that the words are still the same, but it comes out with an energy and a movement and a kind of visceral sense of cinema that I don't... I don't think anyone else has. Now, I know you guys are planning multiple seasons of this, so I wonder, have you already got this whole thing charted out from beginning to end? Or are you no, still... we're still planning on it. We're not quite sure what to do next. We've, we've got some ideas. I mean, it's three generations of Getty, so the story can certainly rumble on, and they were never dull for a moment. All three generations, so there's, there's plenty of stories to tell. Uh, so going back to Slumdog Night, I wanted to ask you this. So when you guys did that movie, became very close to being released on home video. Yes. And then you won eight Academy Awards. Um, take us, uh, tell us about that night. I mean, when you guys just kept winning and winning and then you won, what was that like? Well, it was sort of terrifying, actually, because we weirdly won lots of awards, the Writers Guild Award, the Producers Guild, the Directors Guild, the Actors have won stuff. And so we won a lot of things up to the point. And of course, the Oscars is the last event of the season. And we felt a bit embarrassed about how much we've been winning. And we kind of felt that maybe our luck was going to run out on our final night. So we all were more nervous than ever at that point. Um, and at the beginning, we hadn't expected anything. And then suddenly, we felt this huge weight of pressure. So it was just relief, actually. The sweat was pouring off all of us. With just relief that um, we got to the end and people st were still loving it enough to give us Academy Awards. Well, I think people uh, still love it today. And uh, you got another great project. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Nice to talk to you.